Hi and welcome, my name is Chobo and we're playing a more easy and as you can see it's only a black theme, uh, what was the last one? This one. So let's continue. Uh, we must go through this black door, oh red door, I don't know what will happen, but yeah, we will see. Okay, who's this? A statue of religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it judging me? Uh, uh, a hard frozen steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Do you have a knife? A key. The last key, apparently. Mary's picnic basket, we'd like to save. Let's go. File number five. Ooh. Oh. What? A charge? Basil? What are you doing there, Basil? What's happening? No, he's other side. Sunny, the truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time we can face it together. Let's go. Let's go and find the truth. Sunny, why did it end up like this? Sunny, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Do you want to save Basil? Yes. And what will happen? That's interesting. Now we can find the truth. There's something out there. It's calling me and it's calling you too. There is a light bulb here. Ah, there is no light bulb here. Let's go together. Where? What? What was the this arms? Okay. He has pretty powerful arms that he can leave these traces. Okay, what's happening in here? I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me! What? What? Amori, what have you done? Is that Basil? Hey, Amori, what are you doing? Oh no. What's happening? I'm worried.
What's that? Oh, he said. Why? What? Sunny? Oh, Sunny. That's Sunny. Kale snoring. Whew. Okay, let's go, let's see. Um, to this room, right? Cool music. Where's Hero? Is that Hero? That looks like a Mary. You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last practical. Restle, but you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano, all that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me, but keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry, I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at the la that last red wrestle. Did you want to play it with me now? Oh, you scared me there, Sunny. Sorry for bursting in like that, I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mary a lot. It's been hard for me too, I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs, I'll come join you in a bit. Okay, Sunny is not telling anything. Let's go back. A very comfortable bed. We'd like to go sleep. Yes. So we are now playing for Sunny. One day left. Yes, but I thought it already will be in the end. But let's see. Wakey, wakey, a more uh, sunny. Um, there's a message. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I listed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you don't mind. Also, I made you breakfast. Uh, come down and get it while it's still warm. Kale's already on his second plate. Now you have a new message. Mom's voice. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow it's big the, the big day. The movers will be here first uh, thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Okay. Let's go then. Do we need to go in that room again? The word Amori is etched across the center. Grand piano. So it's just... Uh... Okay, let's go back. Oh, a stain. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. Top of the morning, Sunny. You better, um, start eating before I finish, though. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon, coming hot. Oh boy, all for me. Thanks a bunch, bro. Um... Who could that be? I'll go get the door. A big and happy family. Ah, it's you! 
What is all this? What the heck, Kel? Who's there? Huh? What's going on over here there? Kim. Thank you, Kel. Now I have eggs all over me. Well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? Um, I was just about to get to that. I just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering to her door or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me too. That's just the kind of person she is. Yeah, I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Well, me and Sunny can tag along, but you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She's listening to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Huh? Er, sure, whatever. Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Okay then, see ya. Um... What, you don't want to eat? Sunny? Okay, if you don't want, then... Let's go. Let's go and help Aubrey. Yo, Sunny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Yeah, give a high five. Down low. Okay. So we are going for Aubrey. Uh, she's leaving somewhere down and to the left, right? Aubrey is feeling well. How could this be? Isn't fe feeling well. This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. I must track him down at once. Hello, is anyone there? Come to think of it, have you ever been outside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She's always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello, Aubrey? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door is open. Let's go inside. Wait, what? Trash. There's everywhere tra a trash. Aubrey's mom. She's just sitting there. A wardrobe. There's no one in here. Let's go up. Aubrey? Hey Aubrey, how are you feeling? What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. 
Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it's my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here, you were my best friends. Alright, alright. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kale and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Hey, those are the missing photos of Mary. They're, they're all I have left for her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if he, he we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... Aha! Uh -huh. You really dug through my trash for this thing? That's kind of gross. Mm -hmm. Aubrey, let's put Mary's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Okay, let's do this. I want to see him. Hero took the photo album from you. Let's see it. Come on guys, we should do this together. Okay, let's go through these photos once more. Um... Where, is, where it belongs? Ah. They're playing cards. Okay, here apparently. Yeah. Beach party. He... Asleep. He's asleep. Where? Where it was? Here. Birthday party. Yes, it must be here too. Um, this one. Yeah. Oh, here. Not this place. Here. Picnic. Yeah, it's here. Uh, beach party. Here. Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, it's Aubrey and Mary. That's cute. Uh, they playing... It must be on the last page. Yeah, as I said, it's last page. Oh, here. This one is last page. Here. Here too. Nice. Here. Wait, not here? There are still missing photos then. Okay, where it is, where it is. Still missing. You want to look through the photo album? Yes! Okay, let's see, so this is the beginning. We already seen it. He's trying violin. Let's see. Uh, this one. Yeah, there's Mary. Uh, it's my twelfth 
birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is looking to be a good year. Yeah, nice. And there's Mary too. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mary bought me this photo album and everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. We have seen it, seen it. Oh, this one. Mary and Hero fall asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. Hehe. <laughs> I hope they don't mind the photo. Mary's dad might be kind of mad if she <laughs> he saw it. Okay, there they are. Hero and Mary washing dishes from breakfast. Uh, we're staying over with Mary and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. Okay, this is the same. Okay, this one. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mary at our secret lake spot. Mary wanted to take a picture of everyone. She say cheese. Ah, oh, there she is again. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except me, Hira, and Mary. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. Um, <clears throat> thanks a lot, Hector. I have to cover it up with tape later. Something unfortunate. Is there a... Ah, oh, apparently Hector is a dog. I got Mary carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. He must have fallen asleep at, on the bus. I thought it was so cute so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once in a lifetime photo. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Okay, Mary. Sunny and Kel gave up on making flower crumbs and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Maybe just a flower is okay. Okay, this is it. Ah, that one. Mary bought everyone popsicles. Popsicles are one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Kel got orange. Aubrey got watermelon and Mary got grape. Mine was banana. It stays okay. Now look at the shoes in a circle. Can you guess whose shoes are whose? Mary says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easily. Hmm, I'm not sure what Kelly's doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Oh, Hero sleeping on Mary. He's all tired out from swimming. It seems like Mary won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mary and Hero. They look so happy. A match made in heaven. Okay, it's uh, Sunny's birthday. And field trip. Mary says uh, this beetle is a giant stack. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero is too crossed out to look. I thought that he don't like spiders. All of us hanging out in our brand new treehouse. Looks like Sunny is finally reading the book I showed him. I was to s I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse more next uh, summer. Oh. We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. Okay, this one. I'm playing cards with Kel, Hero and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mary baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious. Like always. Looks like I have the winning hand here. Hee <laughs> hee. But nobody knows that yet. 
Okay, there they are. Sunny giving Mary a big hug. Mary doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mary practicing her part for a big recital uh, next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mary and Sunny as first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. Mary getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry Mary, just keep going, no one will even notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mary for restful practice. <laughs> They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go Mary, go Sunny, you can do it. Hmm. Actually sounds really good. Uh, you Are you done looking at the photo album? Yes. There, now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't uh, that feel better? Uh, we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry guys, I've been acting like a, such a jerk. I'm sorry to Aubrey, I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologize accepted. Now we can call, all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on hero, not now, you're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Cal, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get you out of this house. Hmm, okay. Oh, so the friends back together. Oh. They're here too. What's happening with this? Bun bun. Ah, a bucket. Useful for rainy days. Okay, this is actually... So... Bad. Yeah, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing uh, everyone here. Hey guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved the taffy for you. What happened there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all t earlier. Yeah, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. Ah, uh -huh, that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to ca take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Ah, uh, okay. We'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. Okay, that's pretty fast. Let's see then. A basil. A basil. He's on the other side. If I remember correctly. Here. Hey Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What? What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no, I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyway, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? 
I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I walked somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Uh, sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it co cools down, we can all go to see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey is with us now too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been here in s there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sunny? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in faraway town. Lead the way, Sunny. Okay, let's go to the treehouse then. Meow. Uh, it looks like the sun is about to set. What? Did you want to go see three house now, Sunny? Wait, but what we can do here then? But where is Meow? Let's see. There was a Meow. Oh, a book of action figures and toys. Nice. We can play here. A spider! <laughs> What's wrong, hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Don't worry, hero. I gotcha. Now, where is that pesky little... Uh-huh, I got you now. It's alright you now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm going to go flush it down the toilet now, okay? And I'm back. But the spider's gone. It's like magic. Hero? <laughs> nice. Huh, mm, thank goodness. Hero, I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Um, do you really think that could happen? Man, hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Let's play. Actually, nice. Oh, he's alone in here. Bye-bye, <laughs> big spider. Wardrobe. Okay, so we're going to the treehouse then. Or what? Uh, save. Yeah, five. Yeah, let's go. Actually, we can go and visit Mole or something like this, but that's okay. Ah. What's wrong, Aubrey? Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. Yeah. 
There have been a lot of things that were unsaid this past few years, and painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here, so that we can face this together. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. <laughs> oh, he's checking on spiders. Hey, Sunny, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Sunny, are you guys coming? To call? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Okay, I'll call you. Right, Sunny? Sunny, answer me. Okay, a tree house. Wait. <gasps> this is where Mary. Yeah, it is. Wait, what? It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That that day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mary and Sunny music red still. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening, Even after all this time, it's still done, and I still don't understand why she would do it. I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. So what? She's oh no! Don't tell me why. Okay, now we understand why they want to leave this place. Then it's necessary, and I think that um. Ah, uh, Sunny's parents leave him there alone. It's really cruel. Yeah. Oh, this place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. Oh, our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plantag. Oh, you're so dirty. Look, all... And all this old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Yeah, I think I just stepped on a jack. Ah, oh, man, such good times. Hmm, why did we have a toaster in here? Oh, the last photo. So nice. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. What? You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look, Sunny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sunny. We should add it in. Let's do this. Let's add last photo. It must be in the left corner. Yeah, here. Basil's memory. I want to read. There, now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should t uh, look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well. Right, Sunny? Let's start from the beginning. Let's go. We are going for this uh, last photo. Already read area of M before that must be somewhere in here yeah this one ta-da 
All summer, we've been working on a treehouse in Sunny's backyard, and today is finally finished. Hiron and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do so, say so myself. Yeah, pretty good. Are you done looking? Yes. Ah, oh, Mary, I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on guys, why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mary would be so happy for, for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Okay, what happened? Let's go there. What? Is he has something to do with this? You know, after ev uh, everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I really realized that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mary died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports and Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mary too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sunny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet, Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and run off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mary's face. All of our memories together. I felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now, but you know what? Ever since then, all I've been, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did. Yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't realize and understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young, Dan and Kel, but I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos uh, in the photo album. There is no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug! Oh yeah, count me in. Wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. Aww. Nice. 
We should go see if Maisel is back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now... He's probably the one that needs us the most. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, this... Music is really like uh, music from uh, Final Fantasy IX. It's really... Uh, they really are like. Hello? Hello, Granny? Hey! Who? Oh, thank goodness you guys come back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil is back home, but he's not take talking to me. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do it, whatever. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. We're ready. Let's go. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. Hi Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything this past few days, is that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you are so kind. Of course you can stay, over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch. Uh, this has all happened so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants to couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Nice. Another sleepover. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. Oh, that hurt. Do you want to hang out with your friends? Yeah! Let's hang out. Maybe Basil will come? <laughs> nice. Apparently Amori and Hero talk. No, they all talk. Basil? Basil? We have seen this grandma. It might be that he... She passed away or something. Hey Sunny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were... You were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ah, uh, that's so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying that I'm th what I'm thinking. Hee <laughs> hee, he's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? 
Aha, uh -huh, it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you always have was, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Hmm. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other, just like I know that Mary is still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sunny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm getting sleepy. Amori? Uh, Sunny? Oh, he's snoring already. What the? Is he asleep already? Yeah, he is. Yep, that's Gal for you. That part of him was hasn't changed a bit. Hey Sunny, thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Life gets better, huh? Hey Sunny, after you move away, you should like maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some fun sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Yeah, that sounds kinda nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Oh, of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Nah, Kel snoring. Come on guys, it's time to sleep already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunny? Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sunny. See you all in the morning. Let's check Basil. No, oh. they all sleeping. But Sunny didn't sleep. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Will you forgive me? For what? My best friend. Please. Sunny? That's Sunny. That's not a Mori. Oh, hello, Amori. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Yes. I hope it was right decision. Or what? Fight, skill, calm down. Sunny recovers for the heart. Something drags Sunny into the shadows. Ooh, so creepy. Calm down. You can do this, Sunny. Sunny drags Sunny into the shadows again. Uh. 
Oh, you? Something taunts? Calm down. Yeah, and don't be afraid. Calm down. So this, uh, he confronts all of his uh, um, fears, apparently, and this thing is the last fear, right? Yeah, the spider. Calm down. Oh yeah, there was the other one, but we will do this after it. Right now we need to calm down. Tiny speed fell. Focus. Sunny focuses. Yeah, and this guy disappears. Uh, Sunny's neck attack deals, deals more damage. Calm down. Forty hard. Calm down again. I don't think that we need that to attack it. So, next one. Fight, skill. Calm down. You must not afraid. Resist. Yeah, he cannot use it because he uh, suddenly persists. What? Skill? Calm down. He cannot use the skills uh, when he afraid. Focus. Focus to see. Something sways in the wind. Oh no. You feel like your life is in danger. Resist. Sunny persists. What? Sunny took 143 damage. Your lungs tighten up. Resist. Resist. You can do this, Sunny. You can do this. If you just won't stop trembling, it's okay. It's okay. You hear your breathing begin to steady. Calm down. You hear your heart begin to steady. Calm down again. Ooh, that's okay. You gather all your courage and learn to overcome. Wrong. Over. Gather all your courage. Okay. What will happen? Oh. He opens his eyes. To the truth, apparently. Oh, a light bulb, not dark bulb. We have a light bulb, nice. This is it. Apparently, we will see what happened next. What's this? 
I thought that we can read it, but no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How long is it? Oh, it's already so long. Okay. Uh, let's see. If it will be too long, I will split it, maybe. If not, then I will end it today. Uh, location outside. Okay, file six. Sunny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. You got Basil's photo album. What's this? Where are we? What's this? Okay, is this his... Okay, it disappears. Okay. Okay, I think that it might be really long, so... Yeah, we will end it here. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, smash like if you did, leave your comments and subscribe. See you in the next videos. Bye!